Okay, for this question, uh, it's, it, 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 it's, it's, it's not a, you know, redox kind of reaction. Um, we're not using any dichromate or manganate ions. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm pretend I know absolutely nothing of anything on here. So there's a chemical company as a waste tank of uh, volume 25,000 DMQ. The tank is full of phosphoric acid. H3PO4 solution formed by adding some unwanted phosphorus 5 oxide to water in the tank. 25 centimeter cube sample of the solution required 21.2 cm cubed a 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide solution for complete reaction. Calculate the mass in kilograms of phosphorus 5 oxide that must have been added to the water in the waste tank. All right, so first things first, all right, well, let's look at our H, uh, our, our um, acid and alkali reaction, this neutralization reaction. Well we've got let me switch my pen on, we've all we've really got is 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 sodium hydroxide, NaOH, reacting with H3PO4. Well what I know, and what I mean by pretend I, I'm, I'm gonna pretend I know nothing of, of of this thing here is that I do know that phosphorus 5 oxide is P4 of it. But I'm gonna pretend I don't know that. And pretend I've, I've I've forgotten. So we're just going to get a factor P4. Thing. So H3PO4 um, from GCSE chemistry. I know sodium hydroxide reacts with HCl to form NaCl and H2O. So one hydroxide ion reacts with reacts with one hydrogen ion. In that case, I've got and let's just and let's just look at this neutralization reaction here. I've got. Uh, three H3s here. So I'm going to need three sodium hydroxides because I'm going to need three hydroxide ions. So what I know is I am going to require three times more sodium hydroxide in terms of moles um, than H3PO4 and phosphoric acid. So it's a simple titration question. So I need to know how much sodium hydroxide is reacting this titration. Well, it tells me I've used 21.2 centimeter cubed of a 0.5 molar DM cubed solution. Sorry, I said 0.5 molar, 0.5 molar DM cubed. I'm so used to saying molar. And 20 years, I still can't get over it. Okay, so I want to know how many moles are in one centimeter cubed. So I take my 0.5, um, I divide it by a thousand. Let, let's fit it over here. So 0.5 divided by a, a thousand, which would give me 0.0005. And this calculation here will tell me the number of moles in one centimeter cubed. I times that by 21.2. So I want to know how much is how many moles in 21.2 centimeter cubed. So coming back to my really cool calculator, let's just give that 0.5 divided by a thousand gives me an answer. Times that by 21.2. That tells me. In terms of sodium hydroxide, I have used 0 0.0106. Oh, I think it was. Let me double check. 0 0.0106 um, moles of sodium hydroxide. Well, coming back to our, 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 our initial equation here, we know that if I've got three moles of sodium hydroxide, I've got a third, three times less of phosphoric acid. So I'm going to take my 0 0.0106 and divide it by 3. I'm going to put my calc, divide by 3. Uh, oh my god, 0 0.00353. 0 0.00353. 0 0.00353. This is the number of moles in uh, 25 centimeter cubed in this sample. So I'm just working out the mass in kilo of P5O of, of, of phosphorus 5 oxide that must have used oh well hold on that, that, that's in that 25,000 uh oh See, this is in 25 centimeter cubed so I need to change that to 25,000 dm cubed alright so 25,000 dm cubed 25, 1, 2, 3 dm cubed I've got Centimeter cube, so times that by a thousand. So what I've got to do here is take the 25 
and times it by a million to get, change it into what we've got 25,000 dm cubed by 25 million centimeter cubed so I'm going to have to take my number of moles and times them by a million I'm going to write 10 to the power of 6 um, if you don't do A-level maths and you, they, you haven't done maths for about ooh, two years I'll just put it in standard form because a million would take a lot to write out and you're going to see how much it's going to take to write out so I'm about to put it on my really cool calculator so I'm going to take this I'm going to times it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and there you go, a million so the number of moles is 3,533 and a third 3,533.3 recurring moles and this is the H3PO4 well I made that from phosphorus 5 oxide so I'm, 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 I'm going to forget that I know it's P4010 so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to think about the charge it's, it's phosphorus 5 so I've got P 5 plus uh, 5 plus and oxygen I know is 2 minus so I can't have two and a half oxygen atoms because two and a half times two would make it five. So if I times this by two, that'll give me ten pluses. If I times this by five, that'll give me ten minuses. So P2 or five. Alright, so now I'm looking at this and I think if I form my phosphoric acid from P2 or five, well, phosphoric acid is H. 3PO4. That's only got one P in it. It's got two P's in it. So this, the P205, is going to make two times more H3PO4 because two phosphorus atoms in here are going to make two H3PO4s. So that would mean I need half the number of moles of phosphoric acid. Come back to my calculator. I'm going to divide this by 2. Uh, 1,766.6 recurring. 1,766.6 recurring number of moles of P205. So now I need to know the mass in kilograms. So I need to know the MR. I need to know the MR of P205. So I'm going to put this on pause. Uh, and get my periodic table which is once the pause okay so going through my periodic table P205 has an MR of 142 so now I need to work out the mass so I take my number of moles 1766 0.6 and multiply it by 142. That should give me one ace calculator times 142. 20 <laughs> 250,866. 250,866. This is grams. I want it in kilograms. In kilograms, I would do the answer divided by a thousand, which would be 250.866 kilograms, or if you really want to round up to three significant figures, 251 kilograms. Voila.